all right uh saturday right now the sun's out and there's not too many clouds in the sky but it's supposed to rain it's supposed to rain bad um so i think i'm gonna do this quick and not get too specific on, on the things i've got here's just some of it um, back of my car's loader i spent like 248 i think uh, looks like marie took the list of what we paid for stuff so i'm just gonna randomly go Nothing, sir. I'm just going to randomly go through stuff and show what I can as quickly as possible so that I don't have to worry about getting uh, wet or rained on. Um, this is the last sale we went to. It's just a red crystal necklace. I believe Marie paid five. She's going to sell it for like uh, probably 30. Uh, this I thought was better. I was I went in I went in and uh, at the sale. It's an estate sale. So I said, how much are the ties? Right? Because that's an interesting tie. They had a South Park one. Uh, they had a Mad Magazine, Alfred E. Newman one. And they had this Rolling Stones American Tour 1972 one. Um, the ladies were like, 10 bucks each on a tie. I'm like, <sighs> so I couldn't find this one anywhere. So I said, fine, I'll just buy it for 10 because it, it is a Stones. Um, but it's not from the 70s. It's from the 90s. And it's made by a guy named Ralph Marlin. Um, this tie, I didn't notice this little spot here, which you may or may not see. It's really no, not that big a deal. Um... But I paid ten for it, and I, I did my I did check on Worth Point. And it's probably worth thirty at most. All right, so I'm not I'm don't I don't really care about that. Um, we bought this uh, a seed bead necklace, kind of fun. It's got the eagle on it. Uh, she paid five. I guess she thinks she's going to get about twenty or so for it. Um, this is this is uh, this is easy to find. This is uh, corningware. And with the Pyrex lids, apparently this stuff can do well. This is Le Sauge. I don't know what that means. Uh, and Le Perfil. Uh Oh. This is silver. I think it was like 3 or $2. Don't really know. Last sale also. And I'm assuming this is gold filled. It's got a teeny mark on the back. I couldn't see it even with uh, super strong glasses on. You know, I can, uh, there it is. Let me see if I can focus in. I'm assuming it's gold filled. That was three dollars. Yeah. No discount. And I paid ten for this because uh, Jean Philippe, his stuff, his uh, perfumes, fragrances can do well. And I was comfortable paying ten for this. I'm a, even if it's worth twenty, you know, I, I won't lose any money on it. Oh, and she got another handle for the uh, corningware. All right, uh, let's see what I got here. Okay, I just I, there's a lot of stuff today. Um, everything was a good price, good bargain. Oh, here, this is fun. Everybody knows the singing fish, right? Well, this is uh, Rudy. The very animated singing rain... Oh, hold on, focus. Rudy, the very animated singing reindeer. This is going to... We, we checked it out, believe it or not, it can sell for like... 80 bucks. Like something like 80 bucks. Uh, I don't know if I paid 5 or 10. You know, I, I don't remember. Here's some more corningware. Like I said, uh... Corningware... Can do well, especially if you don't get it for too expensive. And the older stuff. Let me see. And with the Pyrex lids. There. Oh, that's corn. Uh, it's called corn flour. She had some of those yesterday. Oh, and she got an extra lid. Um, try not to fall. Okay. Look at this. All right. Let's see. We went to this one house, and I spent like a hundred. A hundred. Um. And see, I had it on my list, but Marie took the list probably because she's keeping track of where we go and what we uh, what we spend. So let me just start with this. I got a whole bunch of Hess trucks. Now in the basement, they didn't look they looked cleaner. So what I'm going to do is uh, he gave me thirty. He counted thirty two, so I paid thirty two fifty bucks, which is less than two dollars each. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beat up boxes, right, and I'll check them. You know, because, the, look, 1998, uh, that's how you can tell a date. I got it on the license plate on the back of the box. Yeah, 
here's 1995. So these should be worth like 10 to 30 bucks at least, right? But I didn't notice the boxes weren't great. So what I'm gonna do is probably take the ones with the dirty boxes, uh, throw them on probably Facebook or the flea market, I haven't decided yet, and then just sell them as, hey, boxes are beat up, but the trucks are great inside. So you only see six here, but there's 32. There's a bunch more in the back. Let me see if I can, I can see. So I see the box isn't bad on this one, and that's for 2010. Okay, so they're not quite as old. They're, they might actually go back because a lot of this stuff in this guy's house uh, in the sale. See this? This is screwed. Uh, 1998. All right. So a lot of stuff in the house, looks like the box got wet, was from uh, 70s up. All right. Let's see. What's this? I might do this in two videos. I really don't want to. Oh, here's just a Wedgwood, Wedgwood uh, trinket box. Very nice. No damage. Very dirty. I'm not going to unwrap that now. And then these were these uh, kind of bar tumbler glasses. They all have different um, things on them. I'll show you one. See, the paper's wet too. It's a little soggy. You did a good job wrapping it. I'll show one, but I've only got five. Uh, this one says, I believe I've had enough. And it shows this guy that's all liquefied and bubbly. Uh, if I can show one more, I will. But they're just kind of comical, cartoonish. <laughs> I'll show them more. I don't have time to unwrap all this stuff. Alright. That was a FedEx guy making a delivery. Okay, and then here's another one. You don't have a drink. You don't have to drink to have fun. And the lady's holding a drink. Probably. They're gonna have fun. I mean, you don't have to, but she looks like she's going to. So, alright. Basically, it's stuff like that. They were, those were very expensive. It was like $2 for five. Which, you know, I mean, come on, $2 for five. Uh, this wasn't expensive. Oh, wait, it's only the top. So it was open? Reese said it was open. Oh, I guess it's not the top. No, nah, that's weird. That's weird. It doesn't look like it was open. He said it was open. Oh, it's open there? This is a Chinese checkerboard. This is great tin litho art. I think it was like a couple of bucks. I don't even know. Actually, I got a. I just said, well, how much for this stuff? He's like, you're just gonna ten for all. This is a Santa bank. Christmas is coming. I'm imagining this ought to be worth. It has kind of that spaghetti thing. I got two of them, and it should be Japan imported, made in Japan. Okay, this is probably from the 70s. Um, these ought to be worth like at least 20 bucks a pop. Uh, this is fun. Garfield bath brush? No clue. Maybe like that. And it's just a box. All right. Uh, let me see what... Oh, I showed that. Now I'm going to show this. Some of the sort... Some of the stuff is coming straight in the house. Oh, ever... I'm doing a flea market tomorrow. JC Promotions, Clifton. Unless it, it like, rains so hard that the market gets flooded out. Okay, what is this? Oh, these are coasters. They were like two bucks. Let me see if I can show them. Marie liked them. I'm assuming they're worth at least 20 bucks. Okay. Oh, she said these swizzle sticks? Someone sold a set of these on eBay for $30. Uh, dollars. Dangerous curves. Slippery when wet. Ooh, very sexual. No passing. Pass at your own risk. Signals ahead. Men working. Dead end. Railroad. Okay. She said a set sold for 30 uh, Marie wants this. I gotta bring this in. Actually, let me put this. Because if it sets off for 30, she'll want that right away. All right, keep, keep going. These are coming in the house. I can use these. They're for like, uh, like uh, CDs, like loose discs. Maybe I'll take them to the store. Oh, here's an interesting mug. On the bottom, it has a guy in stockades. And what they did to mess with him was they put a beer just out of his reach. And there he is on the front. I don't know who Sari Gamp is, and I don't know who Weller is. Okay, put that there. And then I got, uh, let me just keep going. Oh, I got this. This is pretty cool. You know who that is? A lot of people won't. 
Mr. Tiny Bubbles. Don Ho, Polynesian Palace. Sweet, huh? I, I, have, I have no clue if it has any value at all. But Don Ho was very, like the most famous Hawaiian person who ever lived, I think. And he's from like the 70s. So. Then I got these cool uh, lighters. Salem, cigarettes, uh, Winston. They're like a quarter piece. Camel. I mean, Rowan. Oh, that one lights. Nice. All right, so maybe some of them do light. And I got more of them. Get out of here, fly. Fly away. Another Camel. Another Salem. And another, oh, that one's pretty cool. That one has a lid. The cigarette. Were these supposed to have lids? Probably not. Because these are this is an older camel pack. And this is probably the newer camel pack. Alright. That's when you could like uh pop the cigarette pack on your hand like that. And the cigarettes would pop out because it was really hard to get them out. I knew because I was smoking I was smoking back then. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I wanna have two. Here's one. Um Jack Skellington coffee cups sometimes these are worth like i don't know 20 or so i don't know if i'm gonna put them on ebay this store there there's trying to be another one in here i told him to wrap it in the t-shirt there it is mm, there's jack and there's um, his hot dead girlfriend all right let's see and then i got some t-shirts is there something else wrapped in here now okay the t-shirts for 50 cents, so like here. I don't know what this one is, but it's got a cool skull on it. I'll have to look it up. It looks Dutch, Dutch something, G-U, Dutch gun. I don't know. Maybe it's a band. This, I think, which one is this? Oh, here's another uh, skeleton. This is, I mean, it's, it's not really old, but it is a Disney. <clears throat> and then this one, Dead Girls Arcade. Oh, Dead Girls Academy. I think this is a book or, or something like that based on a novel. I don't know. Uh, for 50 cents uh, on eBay, they sell for like, or they're listed for like 20 or so. So I figured, why not? Okay, I'm going to try and do this. All right, this is just an interesting box. Just wacky stuff. All right, here we go. All right. Uh... Yeah, I guess that's stuff to say. All right, I got a hard plastic Santa, got an evil Knievel, and a, uh, his bike. I thought this would be worth more, but based on condition, it's like um, maybe fifteen dollars. And basically, this is a Popeye ramp walker. Uh, what you would do is you put them down. Okay, this actually works. Just give me a sec. You gotta right. You find out the angle, and then and then he just walks down. If the ramp's steep enough, he walks down. It's just an old hard plastic toy. Um, bought some old Tonkas, trucks. Oh, and then I got a box of these McDonald's. And actually, the Happy Meal uh, packages. I just turn these this way, so. Sweat on these. All right, so anyway, I have no clue if these have value. But it's just a bunch of Happy Meal stuff. Oh, God, come on. Uh, these will be good for the store. I'll sell them for a couple of bucks a piece. You know, I might check prices on them. Don't know. That's Santa, the hard plastic. It should be decent. The Evil Knievel, uh, not sure on value. I, I had one, believe it or not, when I was a kid. All right, here's some more of the Hess. Show these. I'm going to figure out how to... But these, the ones in this box look pretty decent. Let's see when these are from. Uh, so around 2000. So these are about 20 years old. Probably not super valuable, but, you know, I can sell them. Since I paid less than $2 a piece, I can sell them for five or less. And I might be able to wipe off some of the boxes. Let's see when these are from. 2003. Uh, 2002. Okay, so there. There's just some more. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's some more. These from. They're supposed to be 32 altogether. I just trusted the guy. Let's see. Um, 2009. Okay, so these are all later ones, it looks like. And here, this looks the same, so let's turn one of them off. Put them off. 1999, okay. 
So I guess they're mostly from the 90s and stuff. All right, uh, this is a, a Wolfgang Puck Panini Maker, a multi-purpose grill. The box is screwed, but I can take this out of the box. This was $5. It was the same sale. Uh, the guys just posted a sale on um, Craigslist, and Marie was like, oh, let me see if there's any sales going on. So I'm assuming this I'm going to put on Facebook as like new in a screwed up box and um i ought to be able to get i don't know like maybe i i don't know i didn't look it up but for five bucks if i can get 30 to 50 oh here's some more mcdonald's toys with with the bo box i paid like 11 dollars for, for uh, the two boxes of mcdonald's toys these guys were like really cheap you know and i got there early the only thing i think i missed out was i was like one of the number three guys they said to come so the only thing I know I missed out was on some records. All right. Uh, okay. What? Is this a... Oh, this must have fallen out or something. No, maybe I had this. Yeah, maybe I had this. Maybe it fell out. Doesn't matter. All right. Um, <clears throat> don't know what these are worth. But they're Bert and Ernie's. Uh, they're cassettes. I got like... Uh, some are the same. Some different. I think there's like three different ones there. All right. Uh, let's put this here. And, oh, this is pretty cool. Got a Mork from Ork Egg Ship Radio. If it works... Okay, I looked this up. I think it's... I think the condition that it is... 50 bucks? Something like that. I looked that up. Just uh, But it's it's not as clean as I th was hoping it would be. Marie was pulling stuff, too. Um... Here's some nice. Well, it's obviously not 1955, but these are just die-cast truck and banks. Oh, from 1998. I gotta look these up. I'll just show a couple quick. That one's a Texaco truck. What is this? Oh, these are trains. Hmm. No, maybe a steamboat antique coin. Well, they're banks. So, this was also not expensive. Let's see. What's this? This does something. Maybe it has something that goes on the side. Okay, where is this from? It was in a box. Something mold. Here, I'll focus. And maybe we can read it together later. Canadian. It just looks like a bunch of gobbly gook letters. I don't know what it is, but whatever. It was in the box. Maybe uh, that stuff is part of it. Oh, wait. Is that an old rocket ship? Okay, this might be good. Uh, or not. I don't know. Texaco. It's got a plastic bottom. Oh, Ertl, though. Hmm. So, Texaco. Are these Ertl? Yes. So, they're Ertl. All right. So, let me just show. Here's another one. What the hell? What is that? Oh, okay. It's supposed to have this ring. United National Bank. Okay. An old Polaroid camera. This time a stereo viewer. Uh, more of this. That. There's another globe thing. What the hell? Wow, this could be but this could be good. This looks legit. Stuff like this could be worth hundreds of dollars. I don't really know. I gotta look it up. But it was in the box. And I said, well, how much for the box? Because there was a bunch of things. And to be honest, I don't even know what he said. Uh, I, I really, I'm, I'm being honest. He just said some price that seemed pretty cheap. So I was like, okay, I'll just take it. Yeah. All right, let me put all this stuff back here. All right. There's going to be some good stuff. Some of this is definitely for the store. Or Facebook to get people to come into the store. All right, this. And this. All right, let me slide this over here. Am I, am I still recording? Yeah. Okay, 20 minutes. Uh, Super Simon. Not super valuable, but uh, it's in there and it looks pretty clean. I think it's like 30 or so. So I, I think I probably paid five or less. I only paid 110 for all of this stuff, the Hess trucks and everything, and the guy kept rounding down. 
So that's pretty good. Um, let's see, what's this? Oh, I, get, I at the same sale, he had like about, I don't know, 30 PS1 games. And he said a buck a piece to take them all for 15. And I was like, I'll just take these. These two together should be pretty decent. And this one I took for just like inexpensive PS2 games to have. All right, this looks like more Hess stuff. So, uh, so this is just a box of Hess, basically. All right. All right. Let's see what the year is on these. I got to sort these through. And, and like I said, the beat up boxes, I'll ditch first. 1989. Yeah, see, like this box, this box is pretty good. screwed up. Uh, 1994. Right. So, it's, it, it doesn't look like I made it to the 80s on these. It looks like it's like 90s and up. 1994. So there's two 94s. This one's in better condition. Okay, that's good. Alright. Uh, one of the sales I went to, they had a whole bunch of... Um, well, they had a bunch of mag magazines. If you want to see uh, the stuff that I looked at today, go to the Scummy Resellers. That channel, I, post, uh, I posted... Uh, videos uh, like live hunting videos, okay? Let me just put this here for a minute. All right, so at one of the sales I went to, the guy had a bunch of manga, manga magazines, and he had two buckets filled with toys. Now, I was looking through them, and I started to make a little pile, right? And he was like, well, it depends on what you get. Now, uh, there is 90s Bandai stuff in here. There was some uh, vintage Kenner stuff in here. So I was, like, making a pile, and I was like, you know, this is taking forever. Hey, how much for all, all of everything, right? So he says, everything? Uh, how about 50 for the two buckets? Now, I don't know if I can show you anything amazing straight off, right? But the reason I take this kind of stuff is because, well, first of all, I put some of it in the shop, right? Like, who's this guy? This is probably a BS one. He's been working out. That's not a tattoo. You got a little tattoo going on there. Uh... He looks like he's supposed to be riding something. How could you not say something on you? Come on. Oh, maybe on his feet. No. Okay, the one I pulled out doesn't say anything, but I think the other bucket that has less stuff, but you can see this is like a lot of 80s McDonald's giveaway stuff, but there's better stuff in here. I just can't show it all right now. Uh, I'm going to go to the other bucket. That might have some of the stuff I had started to pull out, you know, like a metal yo-yo. But this stuff... 50 bucks for the two is fine because if there's a few good things in there, uh, like naked, headless, chesty dragon tattoo guy, let's see who makes this. Look, put a gun in that hand, and I don't know what in that one. Mm. All right, um, in time productions made in China. Beats the hell out of me. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop digging around with this bucket. Let me check the other bucket. I'm going to go the long way. Uh, okay. Then I'm going to put some stuff back in the car, and I'll be done. I don't know, I'm out of here. Like, some of the stuff that just goes straight in the house, I'll take straight in the house. All right, uh, okay. I think I can see it better from there, because I just, I can't pull everything out. All right. So, this bucket has less stuff in it. But, I had started pulling stuff out. And this is probably the bag. Yeah, like there was some interesting stuff here. Like this weird Spider-Man. Let me see who makes this. Look, it has like screws in the back. 19. Okay, I don't know. I gotta put, you know, let me put on stronger glasses for a second. I'm gonna double up my glasses. And there was a bag that I just showed there where I had started to make a pile of stuff. Oh, now the sun's too strong. Lord. Okay, it's 1995 Marvel. So it's 25 years old. I don't know what it came from. Maybe some kind of playset. All right, let's take put this up. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's see. I don't know. Wait, there it is on the butt. Okay, let me put my stronger glasses on again. Made in China. Hmm. 
It's on his butt. It's like his side legs. Oh, here. Okay, let's see. Hasbro. Uh, I can't. I get mixed up. Maybe these are GI Joe. Beats me. Uh, all right. But then there was like weird things like this, you know. And then I start. This was the bag I started to pull out. But when he said fifty for everything, I'm like, ah, it's two full buckets. What's the difference? Like these. These are band eyes. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. So that's Power Rangers. What does he do? Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's got the gorilla uh, but let's see there was a bunch of these yeah bandai so this is 95 and there's more in there there was there's some of these definitely some power ranger stuff and i don't know who this was let's see steel oh wow this is um 1997 so this is um is, is that i don't know is i'm trying to remember the one that was on netflix recently Okay, so anyway, uh, the problem with this was somebody had came and pulled out a bunch already. So I just know there's good stuff in here still. So when they said 50, I was like, fine, I don't care. Like here, uh, Nathan's, the Nathan's hot dog. Do these up. Here's some Legos. The Lego Butler, I have no clue. So overall, I think I did pretty good today. You, you basically have a sense of what I got. Again, if you want to find me tomorrow, I'll be at um, I'll be at uh, in Clifton Jubilee Park. Go to JC Promotions, check the website if you want to find me. And uh, today, uh, nowhere. The shop was pretty busy. I did stop by, and uh, I don't know what else. Oh, if you want to see the live hunting, go to Scummy Resellers uh, channel. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye.